Jack had a superpower, and that was the ability to always make you smile and feel so loved. A couple of days ago, he said to me, Sophie, please, don't ever change who you are, not for anyone, because you're perfect. Only a beautiful soul like Jack would say that. You will always have a big piece of my heart. And I love him dearly. It's so hard. Jack was a great friend. And I'll miss deeply to chat with him. I love that he had dreams even though he... He was so sick. Thankfully he is without pains now. And I know that a star will shine a little brighter in heavens tonight. Jack, also known as the Old Meat, was a great influence to Kingdom 2 and Kingdom 106 as a person with a positive attitude. In a war game, you like to see this kind of guys playing with you because sometimes you may forget that this is just a game and there are much more important things in life. As fighting his battle through Westeros, in the meantime he was fighting his disease with a great courage and patience. I feel incredibly sorry that he left this world, but I also feel proud that I knew, knew a man like him. Valar Morgulus. To me, Jack was a really nice and happy guy. Whenever you wrote something in the Kingdom chat or on Discord, he was always really welcoming and friendly. Whenever you felt down, he always tried to cheer you up to make you feel better. He always wanted to make people feel good, he never wanted people to feel bad. Jack was a really good friend to me, and I hope he may rest in peace. Uh, Jack is unique. He's a man that is truly one in a million. The kindest and most compassionate soul I've ever had the honour of knowing, and he was always thinking of others before himself, even in his darkest hour. His mission in life was to give to others and make other people happy without expecting anything in return. It was easy to be attracted to Jack. He shone like the brightest star in the night sky. You couldn't help but be drawn to him. His cheeky and fun-loving ways in Kingdom Chat is what first drew my attention to him, I loved his hilariously random things that he would write, and he was never offensive to anyone. I was a major lurker before he introduced himself to me. A chance friendship escalated to so much more. He rescued me from a dark place. I just wish I could have done the same for him. Jack set a shining example of how to treat other people and enrich the lives of all who he knew. To our beautiful and irreplaceable old mate, may you live forever in our hearts. Rest in peace, babe. I didn't know Jack as well as most, but I knew him well enough to know he was a kind-hearted, fun-loving guy who was more brave than most I know. His positive attitude was infectious, even when he was dealing with so much. While most of us fight our battles in-game, he was fighting the biggest of battles in real life. Because of this, he used Game of Thrones and Discord to build friendships far and wide across K2 and then K106. So much so that I would go as far to say that he was the most loved player in our kingdom. And this is shown by everyone surrounding him on the map and having a kingdom wide ceasefire for a week to mourn and remember him. R.I.P. old mate, you will be severely missed by all in K106. What did Jack mean to me? Well, I always believed that people come into our lives when we need them most. Jack, you came into my life at a time I needed a friend who could understand. We were cancer buddies. I missed our chats about the chemo nurses and whinging about life. I had an appointment at Peter Mac at the same time you had treatment, so I thought the perfect time to meet you. Unfortunately, it was the only time our paths crossed. Jack, our friendship meant a lot to me, and it always will. Chap, well, what can you say? K106 
Kingdom 106 will always remember Old Maid as someone sharing positive vibes in the Kingdom chat or world chat despite all the fights in the Kingdom. I've known him as a good lad, always compassionate and caring to the needs of others. Of course I just knew him from the game, but I knew him as someone who was always looking out for the small players in the group. I'm thankful I get to know him, even just for a short while. We have fought a good fight, and he will always remain in our hearts. Jack, you've become an inspiration, and you will always be remembered. Rest now, brother. Love, Wiltery. Hello, I'm Kaizi. I'd like to share my story with Jack as known as Olmid. He was one of my closest friends in game. In Kingdom 2 and Kingdom 106, and of course in real life. For me, he was a good listener, meditator, supporter, and he never gave up in his life. I would never forget you, Jack. You've become my best friend and will always be. May you rest in peace. God loves you. Love, Khaleesi from Khal. Jack had a unique soul. His battle against his condition never seemed to take away his care for others. No matter how deeply he was hurting, he always took the time and effort to ask about others' well-being. This kind of pure affection for other people's health, despite his condition, is what defines him for me. He was kind-hearted loving man that made people feel happy and blessed every day. Old mate, you have made a huge impact on all of us, and I truly believe that you're in a better place right now. I would like to offer your family and close friends my deepest condolences. Jack brought a smile to people all over the world, and we will always remember him. Amanda has set up a memorial fund for Jack, where the goal is to collect money to help his family with the cost of his funeral and other outstanding medical bills. This will be going on until Monday the 22nd of October. So far the fund has raised over $1,800 from people in different kingdoms all over the world. Please consider donating whatever you can spare to help them through this difficult time. The link to the memorial fund is in the description. Thank you so much for all the love and help to be able to create this video. And thank you, old mate, for being who you are. Rest in peace, mate. <laughs>